Hello and welcome to episode number 12 of the podcast, the Ace of Cast to be exact. I'm your host, Root Snack, and we have a lot to talk about. Today is Friday the 3rd of January 2020. Welcome to the new year with me. Uh, the new year has been full of crazy stuff. Um, before we get into all the craziness that has happened in the past few days, um, we want I want to let you know about <laughs> the video that I've been waiting to upload. Uh, it's called My Life Don't Make Sense. And it's still trying to upload. <laughs> like The last time I told you it was like, oh, what, 7%. Now it's at 83%, which is a big improvement. But since the last po- since the last podcast, it was a while ago, so now hopefully we get it up tomorrow when this podcast goes up, and we don't have to worry about it after that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because it's it's taking forever to go up, and I don't know why. It's just twelve minutes long, and the video of the last podcast went up faster than this one and it was like 30 minutes long which doesn't make sense to me but maybe it's because i don't know like i didn't give it enough time to load or something um but i didn't realize my mic wasn't my mic was on obviously but it wasn't capturing the audio from the last podcast so all the audio it captured was my laptop so hopefully i did not mess up this time uh i did want to read um twitter my twitter thing uh twitter drafts there you go i was like what twitter thing twitter thing that makes sense i make no sense right now but that's okay um so i have a lot of twitter drafts um for you watching this on youtube i'm not going to show you on the screen because that's a lot of editing that i have to do and honestly um after i film this i really just want to upload it because um as i said the other video that was supposed to be uploaded a long time ago is still not uploaded let's look at it 83 percent so um i'm gonna start from the bottom um sorry i don't know why my camera all the time is like shutting off by itself it doesn't make sense because i just charged it but i mean i guess because the charging made it overheat sorry for the, your video people um, so I was gonna say, uh, I just don't like how it doesn't show, um, when I saved it as a draft, like when it was, what year it was, um, I have a lot, so I'm gonna only name some of them, or like, not name, uh, tell you some of them, uh, depending on how long we, we are right here, but, um, I have a lot, honestly, it's funny because the reason I have them saved as a draft is either because one of them, uh, is that it didn't really send um i had trouble like sending as a as an actual tweet uh, another one is because i was like oh i want to say this but you know what i don't want to say it right now i'll say it later and i never i never go back to it i don't know why <laughs> um so let's start with the first one it said i said actually i was the poor kid that a friend's mom bought me my first running shoes when i have been running in my worn out vans look at me now (laughs) i don't know when uh (laughs) i did that one um honestly it's true um my first running shoes uh were not bought by my own mother but bought by my friend's mother uh yeah the next one is i remember when i was a poor kid and honestly i didn't have much as a kid um maybe my dad could have bought it but he never did. Um, my life as a child was was alright. I mean, it, it it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Uh, I like to say. Um, I I love those running shoes. Um, honestly, I I actually would t- tell my mom to buy me some, and they're like, no, oh, not right now, not right now. So I ran it in my vans, and um, when I was so happy, I got new running shoes. My mom was upset because she thought I was telling people to buy me the shoes when I wasn't. I, it was a surprise when I got it. Um, it, w- it, it was because uh, was, the mom saw that I was running in bands and let me borrow one of her daughter's shoes at practice. And then at the meet, 
she she was like here you go and then i i, I was giving them back to her and she's like oh no, no no you can keep them those are yours and i was like what i have running shoes awesome that was a that's a a great moment of my life um let's see um there are sometimes i speak like a poet i guess you can say but uh there's this one um the words told of a new soul holding your hand as the old days grow cold you sit by the fire that you built because you because only you can help yourself in the midst of your own guilt it's interesting um the way i i view it is just that's a that's a good one though i want to read it again so hopefully this time i don't mess up reading it <laughs> the words of a new soul holding your hand as the days grow cold you sit by the fire that you built because only you can help yourself in the midst of your own guilt interesting i wonder what i was thinking at that time <laughs> oh this one's really long um this one wasn't tweeted probably because it's over the the twitter limit of lines and words you can tweet um sorry the camera turned off again sorry for the viewers that are watching um okay so this one says we exhale as we desire in the wind no sorry we exhale as we desire the wind in the night for a cold retire as we seek the world for our own gold but yet we still stand here untold of the good the gold and the bad the hold but we continue to go where no one was showed but we love and we laugh as they tell us this is how to live a life you have not chosen damn <laughs> that's crazy um that one that one's a long one too I know, I think I've said that a lot. Um, okay, so... This one's odd. Um, it says, I was out socializing and some guy I knew from high school, but forgot his name, came up to me to ask if I remember him and to tell him his name. I couldn't, so I said, what's mine? And he said... It was my aunt's name. Uh, I'm not gonna name her name, but it, it, he thought I was my aunt, and I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> that's not who I am. How am I supposed to know your name if you're not supposed to? If you don't even know mine?" Um. Okay. You got. You gotta have fun with your life, or you'll just go crazy. As a crazy person told me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um. It's actually kind of interesting because I make jokes out of things, a lot. Um. I don't know, maybe it's my way of coping and my way of attacking. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting thing to reflect. I like having an open mind and reflecting on things, thinking about things that never have happened because it might happen. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You never know. Like World War Three. People thought about it in 2012. I remember them talking about it and now it's trending on Twitter. So that's pretty interesting. And I do have a saved draft for that one specifically. Uh, I wish I could be better at talking. Um, I say I'm not cute. So if I mean, if a mean person tells me I'm not cute, it doesn't hurt because I said I'm not cute first. <laughs> that was funny. Got a print. Got a print for my exhibit. I don't remember what that was. Uh, I don't like when people have a limited time merch, like. I want the merch, but in lim in the <laughs> sorry, I just remembered why to how like when I tweeted this, um, but in the limited time, I'm broke and I gotta pay for necessities. Ah, <laughs> uh, limited time. Life isn't that limited. I don't know. Um, let's continue. All I need is one number one fan, and I have it. Right here above me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I wish I could stay in your arms as time passes by. Whose arms? My mother's? My father's? My brother's? My sister's? My lover's? My friend's? Interesting. 
Na you wonder, mystery. Uh, so oh wait, before I go on with within the drafts, I don't know if you can tell right here, those on the video, but on my left eye, I have a bruise. It's healing. Um, so you see this chair I'm sitting on, right? The bottom of it, the bottom four legs, was not on the floor. Um, I was not. I guess you can say sober, but I am 21, so it's not illegal for me to not be sober. Uh, it was in the middle of the night. It was around 4 a.m. And I got up from my bed after everyone left the room to go to sleep. And I needed to pee really bad. And for some reason, I ended up landing my face on the bottom of the chair where the four legs are that touched the floor and they were up in the air. And it was interesting because I was like, ow, and my eye got watery, and I was like, eh, whatever. I went to the restroom, and I looked in the mirror, and I saw, like, a big old bump on my eye, and it was all purple. The next day, everyone was like, oh. <laughs> and then, um, on Christmas, I, no, on New Year's Eve, it was, I, um, was asked by my sister, hey, did somebody punch you in the face? And I was like, no. <laughs> I fell on a chair. <laughs> ah, what a good story. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, basically, the camera turned off and it said that I had no more room on the SD card I had in it. So I switched them out. Um, and I just realized that I've been speaking really loud. But, um, yeah, let's continue on with the reading of the, the drafts. Hopefully they entertain you very well. Um, what the just in case you're living under a rock the plant will save itself and change but humans are incapable of change because the earth does it faster and humans can't adapt so humans will die off oh this is about everyone saying save the planet save the planet plant trees and i'm just like guys then let me do my job um honestly um that a lot of people are actually helping the planet and it's just like okay you're doing that but at the campgrounds when i worked there last summer um they trashed everything everyone's all talking about save the planet but the adults always trash everything which is pretty crazy but let's not get into that argument right now well, this uh, this whole this whole podcast is so controversy like 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 it's so like like ticking of people i don't even know what to name it i can't even think straight right now maybe i have a concussion because also on the same day i got this little black eye on my little cousin bumped me in the head so hard like like i don't know i probably have a minor concussion i don't even know honestly um let's, let's just continue is this how old people feel like is it i don't know uh, life can't really give you what you want, and sometimes you can't just grab what you want. The thing is, we have to live without what we want and learn to accept. Interesting. My mom was like, why don't you just go outside and get a cup of water? And I was like, it's too far. And this basically uh, showed like when, when the kids, when they were younger, they would go to the water house to drink water. And one time she caught me. She's like, just go inside. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> um, I hate her, but I love her. And I really do hate her. I wonder who that is for. Uh, why are people being run by a bunch of old people that... Why? Oh, sorry. I misspoke, like always. Um, why are people... Why, sorry. Why are we being run by a bunch of old people that hate young people that's an interesting question I, I would like to know why because they're they're everyone's like a little ageist i get ageist ageist is an actual word just so you know look it up we got google fastest dictionary ever but people are ageist because they're like you're too you're too young you don't know much or like like you're, you're too old you can't you can't get that or something i don't know i don't want to explain too much because I want to. I want to finish reading these. <laughs> I really want to know what I've been saving. I don't remember these at all. Well, some of them I do, kind of a little bit, but not all of them. Uh, first of all, people just want to die fast. By the way, they driving. Second of all, people are super gross and need to learn how to clean and go to the restroom properly. And third of all, I'm glad I'm better than all those people. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh this is when i was working up in the summer i remember that one <laughs> i was like damn at least i'm good <laughs> at least there's something nice in this world that i, I can have um turn 21 out here just another day spent alone oh so day five, sad boy 559 five, i started saying that a lot now everyone's saying it they're saying it's like sad girl 559 five, i'm like no it's sad boy get it straight um let's see people hear what i say but they just keep going on with their day like if i wasn't even in their way speaking about anything that came to my brain that's true so people don't listen to me and that's okay because y'all just go on my way uh how do people go from old school music to country i don't remember tweeting that one. Oh, actually i didn't tweet it i saved it and i don't remember that a year ago i got my turtle i got my turtle a tank and i forgot how small my turtle used to be and it shows a video of my turtle but i never knew why i didn't do that one my turtle is sleeping right now um let's see what if uh that i misspelled raid um what if that what if everyone that's going to raid area 51 is actually going gonna raid the concentration caps we got i don't know why i saved that one um and it's misspelled why does it refi or whatever um i feel like everyone is getting stupider or social media is bringing it out so basically what i meant by that if you want me to explain is that everyone is getting dumber down or they already were like that and social media is just showing us i don't know conspiracy oh, i'm so sorry for those who are watching this on um video seeing my face and judging my face and stuff like that um I don't know for some reason my freaking camera just keeps on turning off and i have to like pause my audio of it because i do it on separate stuff I'm like come on just work with me please um so where did i love off um i love you but as a friend is the stupidest sentence you can say don't flatter yourself i wasn't attracted to you like that <laughs> damn somebody was mad um <laughs> uh, the search album is just what i was searching for and i never tweeted that that was so clever and it was look at i have it right here this is a poster from the search album and nf signed it himself ah oops um i accidentally click click some more good things uh so where was i okay um right here it says all these races hate mexicans but go to talk about thinking it's mex it's mexican real food so it's mexican food that's what i'm saying it's not real mexican food just so you know um be that couple that doesn't make anyone else hang out with you feel like a third wheel something to live by uh i climbed a tall ash tree and i did uh i don't know what ash it was um but it was funny because uh <laughs> my instructor was like now you can tell people you climbed a tall ass tree and i was like you're right i did climb a ass tree <laughs> uh, let's see don't trust a uh hoe don't trust me oh that's a song mm, 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 mm. uh i work hard to have all these things oh yeah that was because i was a little upset because all these little kids were like oh i have airpods oh look at my apple watch oh look at my expensive shoes don't know what brand um and i work hard for my money literally as i said earlier in the podcast people hold on something's odd about this uh hold on uh i'm gonna check on my camera because i don't it says recording but it's not showing me a number and that's very concerning okay now it's showing me a number interesting hopefully i recorded that if not i'm sorry people who are watching this on youtube um so basically uh what was i saying oh yeah so like they all have these expensive stuff and it's their parents money and, it, and they act like they bought it that's that's the thing that that's the only thing that upsets me is that they act like they're the ones that have the money when it's not it's their parents that have the money and i work hard for my money ah <sighs> but hey you know what? it happens 
I mean, just don't come up to me saying, look, I got this stuff, where's your stuff? I'm like, you're a brat. <laughs> you're such, you're such, okay, I say that to my little sister, she acts like a little, like, like, oh, look, I have all this, and she would have dirty her expensive shoes, and I'm like, you're spoiled, you're a spoiled little brat, <laughs> but, um, it's fine, kids will be kids, uh, let's see, uh, Twitter, where all the cool kids at, and Insta, where all my fam at, oh, Twitter is where all the cool kids are, and Twitter is where all my family is, that's what I was saying, and there's an I in single. There's an I in single. Oh. Yeah, see, my brain's so complex sometimes, I don't even understand what I'm saying. Because there's single has an I in it, and I is, is like saying me, and then me is alone, because me is single. <laughs> Relatable? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh. My instructor said, pretend you're talking to ignorant general public people that have no forestry background. And I laughed about that, and I was about to tweet it, but it was failed to send. Um, basically, everyone is, has the biggest mouth about things they don't know much about. It's pretty interesting. Twitter brings it out. Um, but uh, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, who's trying to hit me up right now because I'm down? Oh, I like to go out late at night sometimes and do crazy stuff and as a, you can tell from my black guy I do crazy stuff don't mess with me you know just kidding uh, um my cousin legit threw trash out the window and yelled I'm leaving my mark I didn't know how to react so I just said never do that again <laughs> he did say that and I'm like I'm, I don't like when people litter so I was just like I like so I, I was shocked I, I did not expect it to happen and usually when people are shocked they like freeze and like don't know what to do I'm trying to get better when, when I'm shocked and, and not do that then I was just like like I didn't want to yell at him cause like that was funny but then again like don't do that so I was like never do that again please that's all I said I was like never do that again Oh, and then the other one's like, hate when people are ageist. <laughs> it's a real word, I swear, look it up. Um, then the last one I have is, if men and women were drafted in World War III, then the U.S. would be full of only teens. Imagine that. I should tweet that, but I'm scared. I don't know. <laughs> I might, I might, I might, since World War III is trending. Uh, so basically, when you think about it, uh, I think it's the stupidest thing. When people, it's the men that are saying, if women want equal rights, then they should be drafted too. But then it's like, who's gonna populate? Like, just thinking about it, like, 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 for the future, <laughs> like, the people that go, it might be two parents, and then like the children are left home alone, and it's just like, those kids are gonna be the future, and it's just like the way they are now. We don't, we we're not ready for that. <laughs> if World War Three happens right now, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for those kids to take over. Um, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Just think about teens running the world. I mean, have you seen when teens take over? Have you seen the One Hundred? Those teens blew everything up. Um, basically, uh, I don't think women should be drafted. Uh, men, I understand because there's more men than women in the world. But uh, the thing is like not everyone's prepared for the army as you can say um if i was drafted i don't know damn it the freaking camera again huh okay hopefully it doesn't do it this time because i'm ending it soon hold on let me just complain a little bit um so what was i saying oh dang what was i saying oh man hold on okay <laughs> so not everyone is prepared to um go through that trauma and stuff like that like like when you think about it the wars mess people up and i don't think i would be able to survive in that situation or like even like be in the army in general maybe um i know i'm, I'm told i'm a good shot because of bb gun shooting because we had bb guns and i would shoot cans and stuff but it, even then like like would my mind mess with me like there's a lot of people that can't, they can't handle being yelled at, and like just to imagine, 
like i don't know it's kind of crazy when you think about it but uh i don't think women should be drafted because they in my opinion are more valuable than men in this situation since uh statistically speaking there are more men in the world than women which means women are more valuable in my eyes but other than that like i don't know like it's interesting to think about um i feel like this whole uh thing has come to an end now this whole podcast because um my camera's being really 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 mean to me <laughs> uh but i just want to say one last thing um the next topic i was going to talk about was uh my friends mainly um my friends think i have a crush on my other friend from forestry because i talk about them a lot to them and it's like no they wish <laughs> i'm like no i don't i uh, have a crush on them um just because i talk about somebody a lot doesn't mean i really have a crush on them i don't think that means i have a crush on them i talk about my friends all the time the ones that are in the band i talk about the ones that i, I hang out with the ones i talk about the other people about i talk about everybody that i i en- enjoy the company of a lot because uh they are really nice like they're really cool honestly like it's pretty interesting um how people can be great and and loving and not hateful you know since uh my life was surrounded by darkness and slowly is lighting up but um i just want to uh end the episode now because of the camera being weird for the whole time i don't even know honestly i don't even know how long this episode is if it's short i apologize if it's long i apologize but um i'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because of the camera turning on and off and i don't even know where i left off blah 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 blah. other than that um i just hope everyone is having a wonderful new year it's only been the third day in and it's been a crazy one honestly for me um i'm just gonna say i almost died on on the new the the first day of the new year um i i cut my pinky on accident um on the second day and today i i got yelled at a a lot (laughs) you can say it's kind of going bad but honestly it's kind of interesting It's, it's surprising in fact it's very very how do you say uh unexpected and and it keeps life on a mystery and me on my toes and the thing is i have it on video oh man the camera again i was so close to ending this some of you might say why don't you just not record your face and stuff and it's just because uh my brother he's one of the people and i'm one of the people that like to watch and listen at the same time instead of just listening um sometimes i don't even pay attention to the video i just go off but uh yeah so as i was saying life is very crazy right now for me and i'm not mad about it um it is making me feel a lot of things a lot of pain emotions sadness you could say but uh it's nice you know because i don't know like it's interesting i don't know it's it's it surprised me and it's making me become uh more aware of how to react to a situation it's interesting how it's all happening in a matter of days but uh 2020 is going to be a real interesting one for everyone honestly if world war 3 is trending still um uh anyways let's just end it before my camera turns off again uh so yeah (laughs) this is a crazy episode but you know what life is crazy as well so thank you for listening maybe you'll come back for more and if you do i'll be here maybe talking about something new but until then enjoy life as best as you can even if things get bad honestly